All right, so this video is going to be explaining and demonstrating the respiratory circulatory exam. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is look at respiration. We're going to see how far the breathing goes down, whether it's just in the chest moving or whether it's the ab abdomen or both. Um, you're also going to calculate the rate of that respiration as far as ratio of inhalation to exhalation. You're observing the lumbar lordosis to see that it's flat to the table or you, can, you can't fit more than a finger or so uh, beneath it. And then you're going to check the transition zones of the uh, the fascial preference of the transition zones. So that's rotation of the OA region, rotation of the cervical thoracic region, rotation of the thracolumbar region, and rotation of the lumbosacral region. So again, we're getting a general move of the whole region, but primarily fascial. So it's not as much of a jerky motion that you're motion testing a segment as it is a smooth rotational motion to get the fascia going. Next, we will um, assess for areas of passive congestion. Be checking the Achilles, so on either side of the Achilles tendon, looking for again passive congestion in the tissues for fluid change, the popliteal fossa, the inguinal regions, the epitrochlear region, so on the medial elbow just above the uh, uh, trochlea, the, uh, the elbow there, and the axilla, and the supraclavicular area, and in the suboccipital area. So then we would decide if the pattern of rotation was compensated or uncompensated. So compensated means alternating rotation, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right. And that can help us determine uh, fascial transition zones, areas that are having trouble with uh, fluid or lymphatic drainage, and we could uh, address the uncompensated regions with treatment.